Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at drawing scatter graphs using NZ Graffer. So when we do scatter graphs, we need to identify the two numeric variables that we are going to use. And we need to make sure we've got our explanatory variable on the horizontal axis and our response variable on the vertical axis. So there's another video that explains the explanatory and response variables in more detail. So let's go and actually jump into NZ Graffer and have a look at what we can do. So what I've got here, I'm just going to change this to my um, rugby data set. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the graph type down here on the bottom left and we are going to select the scatter graph. Then I need to choose two numeric variables. So I'm going to first of all choose my weight and my height. And now I'm going to look at which way they're around they come up on the graph and say, OK, have I got those around the right way? And I'm actually going to switch those because if I know a person's height, then I can predict what their weight might be. So I've got my height as my explanatory and my weight is my response variable. So I can now add in a title. So this is, I have to say, rugby investigation and the height, I'm going to add the units to that because that's in centimetres and the weight is in kilograms and so now I'm going to just update the graph with that information so that gives me that there, now you can change the point size if you want the dots to be larger that's quite a useful thing to be able to do oh and I can't spell investigation, let's try that again update the graph, there we go, that's much better um, so there is my initial graph and I can right click anywhere over that graph and I can open up a blank word document um, and I can paste the graph into that word document which is quite useful at times when we want to um, print those graphs out. So that's the standard that I want to do. Now there's a few other ones that is quite useful and so I'm going to start with this one called mean dot and this mean dot it finds the means of the heights and the weights and puts a point right in the very middle of all of that data. Now the reason I want to do that is at year 11 we want to be able to figure out what the line might look through, what is the pattern of this data. So I'm going to come down here to where it says add a custom line and what it's done here is you can see there's two dots here with a line between them and I can pick up and move these dots around so I can pick up and move that dot and I can pick up and move this dot around and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a line that goes through the data but it definitely we want it to go through that mean dot as well and so if I can get a line that looks pretty close to the pattern and that goes through that mean dot there that looks pretty good so that to me is a reasonable visual estimate of what a trend, the line of best fit might be through that data. So now underneath here there's an option which says show equation and so that has got the equation here written up the top so that yellow line that I have maneuvered through to the data and come up with a good estimate the equation of that specific line is this weight is equal to 164.44 times the height minus 204.2 and so that I can use that to make predictions. Now another useful thing that we've got here is that we can add on two more custom lines. So there's a custom line 2 and a custom line 3. And these are quite useful for um, when we're looking, some people like to draw, I like to draw the blob around the data, some people like to draw what we call train tracks. And so if I was to move these lines to kind of following the edges of the pattern and move this one to following roughly the edges of the pattern so I'm drawing kind of lines above and below that's why we often call it train tracks then that can give you a good graph to be able to explain and describe and justify patterns that we see in that data so if I right click and copy that image and go back to my Word document here, I can now 
paste that word document there and that has got the lines included with it. Okay, so there, that means I can then make some predictions and give ranges. And in fact, if you want to find have the lines for those showing, we can say show each of those lines and it, the color matches the color of the line. So if you want the equations of those lines, you can do that also. So those are quite useful little tricks. Now there's another one or two little things that I just want to show you as well. And so if I take all those ones off, um, one of the things that is useful is to be able to look for patterns in clusters. So what I've done here is if I go down to the color by option and I'm going to choose my categorical variables. So position is categorical. So if I select my position, now what I've got is I've got it coloring the blue dots are my forward weights and the red dots are the weights and heights of the backs. So what I now have is now I can see there's a cluster of the forwards and there's a cluster of the backs. Um, they have slightly different weight and height combinations. So that's one where I can see that there's some clustering going on. If I was to change that to country, you can see how the red and blue dots are just mixed all in together. And so that tells me that there's not separate patterns for that categorical variable. So if comparing New Zealand and South Africa, there isn't any separate subgroups or clusters going on for that. So that's not useful in, in for me to analyze. So that was another useful one. The last one that can be useful, particularly for level three, is the regression line here. And so if I add the regression line on, that will find automatically for us the line of best fit. Year 11, remember we want you to be doing it visually. This is only for level three. And so that then gives us the equation there. And there are further ones that we can say if we think that a different model is better, we can add on different models and it will come up with those equations for us. Okay. Thanks for watching.